to do my morning jog. Just like you taught me, nice dad. Gotta get my gotta get my miles in, you know? Get the blood going. First thing in the morning. Ah, I'm totally kidding. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Doctors in front of the devil's maze. It's a good world. I'm still in skinny jeans. <laughs> All right, headed back to the airport. Instead of having to walk through the terminal, like everybody else, I'm literally being driven to my next flight in this fancy BMW. Um, that's pretty hard to top. What is going on? What is this place? This is where I'm staying until my flight. What, there's no one else here, it's just me. Yes. Well, thank you. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll just make a coffee. I mean, what else, what else would I do? Bye, fancy lounge room that I enjoyed very much. I will miss you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Wow. Okay, what's up? I am no longer in the polar circle. I'm in Stockholm and it's actually like way, way warmer. And for proof of that, look, I've only got a t-shirt on under this jacket. I feel like myself again. It feels great. The weather is actually quite nice. And uh, I'm here to answer a question that I get asked like all the time, which is where do you find your music? So I figured instead of just like giving you some links, I'd actually dive a little deeper into this and, and bring you to where I actually find my music. Let's do it. Now don't be confused, I don't find my music in a furniture store. We'll keep going. This is a very interesting elevator situation. That's true. Ooh, look at this. Guys, this is epidemic sound. Look, there's like a live band set up. Look at this piano. This is a dope office. Ugh. All right, I had to find a quiet place to chat with you guys for a minute. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this vlog, a common question that I see in the comment section is where do you find your music? Because as a creator myself, when I first started this channel and I first started making videos, one of the hardest things was trying to find where I could get tracks to use because I didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want to use something that was going to get a strike on my channel. I didn't want to get my channel banned or shut down or deleted or all these scary things I thought would happen if I used a track I wasn't supposed to. So therein lied the question is where can I find music? And I, I really didn't know what to do. A friend of mine, Chris Ramsey, was like, well, there's a place called Epidemic Sound where you can go and log in and they have a massive library filled with so many different types of music that you can choose from and you sign up for a subscription and then you're allowed, you're licensed essentially, to use any of those tracks in any of your YouTube videos as many times as you want. So that sounded like the, the easiest, most perfect solution. So ever since that day, I've been using their service. The audio in here sounds kind of jacked. Location change. What I like about the service though is that you can download things called stems. So if there's a track that you love and it works perfect, because we've all been there, right? You're editing something, you're in the groove, you start moving closer to the monitor because I don't know why, apparently that just makes us more focused. And you're listening to that track and so far so good and it sounds great and it sounds great and you're just like, you're waiting almost for the part that's gonna come in that you're not gonna like. It's gonna kill the vibe completely. And then when that happens, what do you do? You just not use the track, you're gonna waste it. So what they've 
you've done is allowed you to download stems. What does that mean? That means you can download the individual components of each song. You don't like the bass? Take out the bass. You don't like the vocals? Peace, vocals are gone. Maybe you only want the guitar riff or the rhythm or just the drum beat. You can do that. You can grab all those specific things yourself, roll them into the track, you're good to go. Look at this dude. I don't know whether to be creeped out or blown away. So having that kind of flexibility when you're making videos is, to me, one of the most important factors because the music either makes it or it breaks it. Why is there a hundred rooms in this building? Music is one of those things that is so important in building a story. Let's go back to that vlog I did with Casey in Bermuda. At the beginning, it shows me being somber, walking around, trying to make coffee, and everything's just kind of not going my way. If I had put like a hip hop beat to that, it wouldn't have sounded nearly as good. So being able to just search a huge library to find like an old, sad Italian accordion to play. It just made the whole scene feel sad and somber, and like, oh, he's down on his luck. That's exactly what I needed to make that film, that movie, that vlog, exactly the way I needed it to look, to feel, so that when people watched it, my vision was perfectly delivered to the viewers. Music does that for me. So there's an artist that works with Epidemic Sound that he's my favorite. So like whenever I'm looking for a track or I'm looking for a song, he's usually the first person that I check. So I go to his account, I go to his little page there and I see, has he uploaded a new track? And if he has, I almost use it instantly. He's here tonight, which is super cool because he's from Stockholm and I'm from Toronto. I get to meet him. I figured we'd sit down and talk with him a little bit about his process. What is up? Henrik Good. Olsen. Am I, I'm pronouncing it right. Yeah. Okay, if you guys don't know Henrik, I'm gonna play this tune for you real quick. You'll know him immediately. <laughs> How do you just sit down and like hear a beat? Does it just come to you? Do you, do you start putting pieces together? Like what does that process look like? Actually, I, uh, I look at photos, I think. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. All right. Off the landscape. I like where this is landscapes going. Landscapes where, <laughs> where you, Peter? Maybe a certain Instagram account inspires yeah, maybe. you. I don't know. <laughs> so but photos, you look yeah. at photos. Does it create like a mood for you? Like a yeah. black and white yeah. will maybe make you feel something that you're like, I want to get that out in this sound. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Do you do this all in your house? Yeah, all by myself in my house. And that's it's it. I actually have my studio under my bed. Okay, that's yeah. That's ex <laughs> I love that though, right? It's it's like the artisan that starts in his garage and then yeah. ten years down the road, he's got people working for him and he's in a huge, huge warehouse. Or just like the vlogger that starts using a cell phone and then upgrades to a One DX. You have your studio yeah, but, but under the a thing, bed. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't need so much. Yeah, so much other things. Yeah, no, hundred percent. To do what I do, some good monitors, speakers, Head, headphones, headphones, yep. and, uh, and some photos. The kitty, MIDI keyboard. Nice, and and some some landscape photos. Yeah, of course, from this guy or whomever else. <laughs> There's plenty of good photographers out there. Why did you guys buy so many pizzas? How many pizzas did you buy? I don't know. They got 17 pizzas. Can we open them all and put them all on the table? Oh my goodness! Look at this. What? Bye, Epidemic. Thanks for having me. Ready to go home, bro? Heck yeah. Head back to the family. You're going back to the land of the Finns. The land of the fin Finland? Finland? I'll miss you. I'll miss you. 10 days. Yep, 10 days, and I'll see you back in a... Uh... See, see you back at home. <laughs> yeah. <Come on>. Bye. <laughs> this must be Peters. Look at this thing. This is insane. So, that's the vlog. This is actually the place that Peter gets all his music from. Epidemic Sound. Uh, I don't know what more you guys need to know. I'm just gonna leave it here. And then, uh, yeah, Peter can turn it off.